hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks again for stopping by and thanks to all the new subscribers so today we are making a coffee uh, Igbo hat or Alsa hat we are going to be using a gele fabric so you need the circumference of the um, the head and also the length of the cap and also we all we are using four inches as the radius for the top part of our hat so the first thing you're gonna do is get your pattern paper fold it into two and divide the circumference of the um, head into two and place that measurement as the width and then you mark the length of the hat depends on the customer they can want it higher or shorter it totally depends on you know the customer's choice so i'm just trimming out um my measurements on my pattern paper and then after that i cut out uh, my fabric this is the gele fabric that i'm using so i cut that out and also the lining piece i am using a lining piece because the gele fabric is made of damask which is very stiff and it can have a very sharp edges and I don't want it to be cutting into the uh, skin when it's put on. So if you're using an ashoki or another soft fabric, you don't have to use um, a lining. So after uh, cutting those out, you put it aside. Now we're going to uh, cut out the round part of the um, of the hat. So you're going to fold uh, pattern paper into four and then you place your the four inches measurements all around so this is our radius because we are going to be cutting it like a circle all right so after that you connect all your lines okay this is what it looks like when you cut it out so you're going to place that circle on your fabric and pin it down and cut it out okay so now after cutting that out you place it aside and we'll be ready to work on the main um hat, main bodies of the hat so you're going to get your main the main fabric place um well, right size of wrong side faces with the wrong side facing each other you will going to sew half using half inch as same allowance which is I forgot to mention should be added at the beginning when you're measuring the circumference okay so don't forget half inch seam allowance to the circumference of the head before you cut it up because that's what you're going to use to sew the sides so you're going to sew the main fabric and then you sew the lining fabric as well And after sewing that, you have this. You make sure you use on the main fabric, you flatten the seam. 
You can use your iron to do this. Make sure it's completely flat. Then you're going to turn it over to the right side. And then the, uh, the lining fabric will be on the right wrong side facing you. Okay. Then you take the lining and we'll be inserting the main bodies of the hat into the lining, just like I'm showing you here. Remember the lining piece, the wrong side is going to be facing you while the right side of the main bodice of the hat is going to go inside the lining fabric, just like I'm showing you right here, okay? So after that, you make sure that the seam of the lining and the seam of the main bodice of the hat is matching each other. Then you're gonna pin it down and then we will sew all around. Okay, so now I'm sewing the I'm sewing the lining to the main bodice of the hat, and this is you sew it all around. Okay, so now after sewing it, you're going to turn the, the, the lining fabric into the, into the main bodice of the hat because it's so that you can have a clean um, finish without the seam showing. So you're going to make sure the edges are completely um, tucked in. You can also um, iron that you can also iron this to make sure that everything is clean and neat. All right, and this is how the hat is looking so far. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to make. So after that, you get the round portion of the hat. And then you're gonna grab the lining and the main bodice of the hat. You're going to make sure you pin it all together. Okay, so now you get well, you get your round the round um, hat and start pinning it together. So I forgot to show when I'm sewing this the wrong side has to be inside and the right side has to be on the outside and you'll be sewing from the inside not the outside okay so you continue to pin around grabbing the lining piece and the main bodies of the hat make sure you pin it properly
Well, this part takes a little while to, you know, get it, but take your time until you get it correctly. And this is what it looks like after I've gone ahead and sewn it. And um, this is the hat. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If it has, please uh, comment, uh, like, share, and subscribe my, to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.